Hey guys, Peter Brown here. We've got ourselves a fresh PlayStation 4 right from Sony's New York launch event. And uh, we're not gonna waste any time. We're gonna try to replace the hard drive. We've got an SSD from Samsung. We're gonna show you how easy the process is and hopefully we'll be able to have a quicker hard drive by the time we're done with this. So the first thing you gotta do, apply some pressure to the top of the shiny part of the lid, pop it right off. On the inside, you'll notice there are a bunch of screws. The only one you have to worry about is this little Phillips head screw right here that has the square X circle triangle logo for Sony's you know, PlayStation brand. So I'm gonna screw that off real quick. All right, with that screw taken out, so let me pop this guy out of here. There are a few more Phillips head screws. We're gonna undo those and show you where we're at once we get those taken out. All right, so we've got the new hard drive screwed in there. We're gonna slide it back in and replace that one screw that we took out earlier. All right, so the panel is a little bit hard to put back on. Rather than coming from the edge, what you want to do is position it past the little plastic fins in front, slide it back in. So that's the PS4 with a new hard drive installed. We're going to go test this out, see what the process is like to format it for the PlayStation, and test the speed differences between the included 5400 RPM hard drive compared to the solid state drive we just installed. With your fresh hard drive installed on the PlayStation 4, go to Sony's PlayStation website and download the 1.5 System OS Recovery Firmware Update, which clocks in around 850 megabytes. Once you've downloaded it, you want to copy it to a flash drive, but first, make sure it's formatted to FAT32, and you want to have a directory called PS4 in all capital letters, with a subfolder titled Update, also in all caps. With those folders created, copy the firmware update that you downloaded from Sony's website, and insert the USB stick into the PlayStation 4. To boot up your PS4 and install the new recovery, hold down the power button for about 7 seconds to enter the system's safe mode. From here, you'll be prompted to update the PS4 via USB storage, so click X to confirm. Then the PS4 will initialize and install the 1.5 system update. Alright, we'll speed through this process for the sake of video, but the whole process takes just about 5 minutes. Once the install is complete, the PS4 will reboot as if it was a brand new system. From here, go through the usual setup process of connecting to the internet and signing to your PSN account. And voila, you can begin downloading games. Between the two hard drives, we noticed that with small games like Resogun, the download and installation time varied, but was pretty similar overall. However, once the game was installed, we noticed Resogun loaded really quickly in about 10 seconds on the SSD. Compared to the standard hard drive, which took about 20 seconds, it's a notable difference. We're going to continue testing out disk-based games because those come with different file sizes. And in the next few days, we'll be able to tell you guys if there's a big difference. But for now, it seems that the solid state drive does mildly improve game loading times. At this point, this is pretty much the gist of what we can show you about installing a new hard drive into your PS4. Do take note, we had to go fishing for the PS4 update, but by the time the PS4 releases, we have to imagine this update will be easy to find on Sony's website. For all of your PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and next-gen needs, stay tuned to GameSpot.com for all the coverage coming in the next week.